Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios hi this is mia motion zero also known as mia no time for love check out my latest book missing available in print and ebook format on amazon it's now time for the mike wagner show powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs the mike wagner show can be heard on spreaker spotify iHeartRadio, youtube itunes anchor fm radio public and the mike wagner show.com mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe so sit back relax and enjoy another great episode of the mike wagner show Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Mosenzia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Mosenzia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and evil love and enjoys by Howard's celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and also on Podbean as well. Take the Mike Widener Show at the on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas like T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, and more, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast for your loved ones 24 7 365 and for more great gift ideas go to amazon.com slash me and molson zia for great books like missing once and wrinkles also cool merchandise like t-shirts hoodies and also um pop sockets phone cases and more amazon.com slash me and molson zia and also don't forget to support the mike widener show on anchor fm along with paypal and also the Mike Widener Show.com, PayPal, Anchor FM. Make sure you donate generously today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's a 20 year old singer songwriter out of Orlando, Florida, who is attending uh, University of Central Florida and hailing from Pennsylvania. And um, he's currently in the um, the city of Angels as well, too. We'll talk about his journey as well, too. And he's got some amazing music out there on Spotify. You know, he's had. Um, all kinds of work like Strike a Pose, Worldwide, also uh, Corporate Sellout, High Off Your Love, and um, What to Do, Get It Right, and also Can't Talk Overseas, Why It All and More. He's also working on an upcoming project, which is going to be big, and he'll talk about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Los Angeles, the amazingly multi-talented 20-year-old singer-songwriter going from Orlando out of Pennsylvania to Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Zuckerman, best known as Young Zuck. Hey, Young Zuck. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. And before we get started, um, t- tell us the story about uh, the name Young Zuck and how'd you get that name? Hey, Mike, how you doing today? I'm um, super glad to have me on the show. Appreciate everyone, you know, and having me out here. So the whole story about Young Zuck kind of comes from my, when, you know, when I was younger, I always kind of got called Zuck. It was a nickname that was really known in my family starting with my dad when he was younger, when he played sports, he kind of got called the nickname Zuck. So it really kind of transpired down to me. So I felt like it was super fitting when I really started to, you know, make music go by something that everyone knew me by already, which was Zuck. And I did put the young part in there 
Um, the young part was an acronym to really separate myself, you know, with Mark Zuckerberg and everything that he has going oh, on. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You look up Zuck, you know, yeah. the first thing that comes up is always Mark Zuckerberg. So I wanted to oh. have something that represented me and separated my brand and my own business from everything else. And I, I wanted to put an acronym that was fitting. And I put the YNG instead of the YUNG to stand for you never give up. So, oh, I like that. Up. So I put the Y and the N and the G there to have my little own, you know, acronym and my own little things to incorporate my nickname growing up. And that's something, you know, that I strive for, which is you never give up. And I just come from, you know, normal everything and just work hard for everything. So I felt like it was super uh, fitting to have that acronym in there as well. I, I, lo- I like that. That's really amazing. And uh, make sure, um, you know, you know the, the Zuckerberg of Facebook doesn't uh, cancel you and everything like that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my fingers have been crossed with that one already. That's what <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're glad you're not fake and so, too. So, so, so you're a 20-year-old singer-songwriter out of Orlando, Florida. You attended uh, University of Central Florida. You hail from Pennsylvania. You're in Los Angeles. You've got a number of um, works on Spotify, like uh, Strike a Pose Worldwide, and also Corporate Sellout, and High Off Your Love, What to Do, and more. And of course, before we get into all that, uh, tell us how you actually first got started. Uh, I really got started, I would say, um, just playing instruments since I was younger. I can remember um, just growing up off a really big rock influence. My parents are super big Grateful Dead fans and all that kind of rock, The Fish and Led Zeppelin and all that. So I just remember, you know, starting off of banging off of drums all when I was maybe like five years old off oh, wow. of drums. And I transitioned to playing in band when I was in middle school. And then my friends had home studios and then it, it just kind of just kept continuing from there. And I just really fell in love with it. Probably when I was like 18 or 19, I really had the opportunity to start growing my career and working with people. And that's really when I was like, all right, this is what I want to do um, for the rest of my life. And I am 22. I hate, I don't want to be the one who's the barrier of bad news, but I am 22 now uh, instead of 20. My birthday was like in June recently. Oh, Not, wow. Okay. I was just going I'm by a little bit older. I know I look, I know I look young and, you know, I try to keep the <laughs> but, young but, physique with everything going on, but I am 22 now. But, um, but, but that's a good thing too. So we at least, you know, you are the young Zuck as well too. And, uh, I don't know, would you call yourself that when you get 30, 40, 50 or so? I guess that's, you kind of wonder about that. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to change it to that. Uh, to the old Zuck and change the acronym to OLD instead of YNG. Oh, yeah. And uh, keep it <laughs> <something there. laughs> either way, I really like that, too. And uh, what was that one precise moment that specifically uh, influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of your career? What was that one moment for you and says, this is what I'm going to do? I would say it was the first time I ever stepped into a real studio. Um, that was probably like 2019. I was recording. Um, prior to that at a home studio then i started working with one of the kids i was friendly with that was in a fraternity over at my school um because i was involved with that kind of aspect and then i was like all right i need to get into something that's more like professional and then i went into his squad studios for the first time in orlando and that was i met somebody there who kind of was like hey like we can do something with this and he worked with a lot of big people and that kind of really started everything for me and then i was in there i felt like every day for a long time for, oh my gosh uh, yeah. that is really amazing and uh who are some of your favorite artists singers and uh songwriters and uh musicians growing up uh growing up like i said i had a really big rock influence with like the whole dead and and zeppelin um Pink Floyd, the, a band called The Radiators, which is more a jam band. I really grew up on like a big rock influence, um, but then I kind of transitioned into more of a pop rap, like Post Malone, um, Lil Tecca, I like Lil Skies, and just more people who are a lot more pop influenced, but still kind of have like an urban side and an urban taste that gives a little bit of you know edge to it. Mm-hmm. So that's that's kind of what I felt my genre best fits into. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. We'll talk about your music as well, too. And uh, But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by SonicWeb Studios. 
Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention to Mike Wagner's show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve 11 enjoys by Howard's celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia for great merchandise, books, and more. Also support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you give generously today. We're here with the amazing 22-year-old singer-songwriter out of Orlando, Florida, attending University of Central Florida and from Pennsylvania, Young Zuck here on the Mike Widener Show. Before we talk about your music, um, like with Worldwide, Corporate Sellout, and High Off Your Love, you have an upcoming album. We'll talk about that. Tell us about your journey going from Pennsylvania to Orlando to Los Angeles. So the journey just didn't start with going straight to Orlando. Um, I actually went to school out west my freshman year of college. I went to the University of Montana. Oh, where wow. I was actually born. I was born in Montana. Um, that's where my parents met at school. So some things happened and ended up that I kind of went out to school in Montana. And I really did my own thing when I was out there <clears throat> and did a lot of skiing and snowboarding. And that kind of aspect of life and I'm not going to say I really didn't focus too much on music. Um, and then things didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, I transferred down to UCF and that's when I lived in Orlando. Um, met some kids when I was in my fraternity who really opened up the door to me getting into music again. Cause I've always been music oriented, but when I went to school out West, it was a, a totally different, you know, kind of scenery and vibe and, I wasn't really able to do what I wanted to do. I grew up being more of a city kid and being in the scene. And then I went to being in the middle of nowhere. And so I wasn't really experienced to that. So then I moved down to Orlando and kind of had that door open up to being able to do what I really love. And that's music. And then I just really worked hard and worked hard and worked hard and went to school and worked and did a whole bunch of other stuff on the side and got the opportunity um, probably back in May to start working with some people out here in Los Angeles. And then I really moved out here full time, I would say, um, back here in, you know, August or September area. Hmm. Wow, that is amazing. And we're glad you're in Los Angeles as well, too. And uh, you also have a lot of music on Spotify. You also got your song Worldwide that's out. You also have a couple albums like Corporate Sellout and uh, High Off Your Love. And uh, you also had um, Strike a Pose, which um, got a lot of really good reviews and um, also so also some other songs. But first of all, let's talk about your albums like Corporate Sellout and High Off Your Love. And, um, you know, tell us more about those. Yeah, so High Off Your Love was the first album I ever did. Um, that was really self-recorded, self-mixed, self-everything. That was kind of when I first started and everything back in 2019 when I started taking everything pretty serious and really realizing that this is what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. um, so I worked on that with somebody that I met through Greek Life at my school at the University of Central Florida. Um, and I started working with him on that project I uh, put that out, did pretty well, had some traction. Um, and then that's when I started working on my second official studio and release album, which was my first professional album, which was uh, Corporate Sellout. And that's when I recorded down fully in Orlando um, with my engineer that I met down there that really kickstarted my whole career uh, down at Hit Squad. I have a couple of features on there with some people that I met um, who... Started who helped my career kind of prolong, and I met a lot of people in the start and some good lifelong friends, especially for sure. Um, so I have them featured on the album, and but the corporate sellout was the first official studio album that I put out that was I felt like deemed you know real, and that really kind of started everything. 
Mm-hmm. And it sounds like it too. You also have some songs out there like with Get Right, Can't Talk, Strike a Pose, Overseas, Want It All. And, um, you know, tell us about some of those songs. What inspired you to write them? Uh, everything that I've written so far has kind of just been off of experiences that I've had personally or stuff that I really want to be able to relate to other people. And I like to write stuff and make things that are relatable to everybody. So I don't want to, you know, niche it down into one specific thing. I kind of want it to be a whole broadcast, a whole overview of things that everybody could relate to, especially, you know, being my age, everyone has a goal or, or like you're in college and you think about girls and you think about this and you think about this. And so I feel like being young, it's really easy to be able to captivate to my audience and, you know, portray something that I think about and probably that they're thinking about too, knowing, you know, a lot of kids my age and how they think and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And also too, you also have an upcoming album as well too. And um, you can just uh, tell us about that. You're working on that. So that that's going to be a big one for you. Yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, I started working with some great people out here in LA. Um, I go to a studio out here called HMG Studio Heritage Music Group. They recorded albums for Justin Timberlake and Rihanna and wow. Snoop Dogg and just everybody, every, a lot of people you can think of in the industry. Uh, they work with a lot of amazing people. I met an engineer. Um, he, he goes by the name of King Luco. Um, he's helped me curate so much stuff right now i've been recording a bunch going to the studio so i released one song off of the album so far which was get right um that was my first song that i released here in la that i mixed recorded everything um just released a music video to that as well here in the start of the new year um just a couple days ago so the music video is out on all on youtube and everything like that um that was the first song i've done but yeah like i said i'm just super excited to uh get this project out i've been working super hard on it uh feel like i've recorded about 30 songs so right now we're just in the process of narrowing it down selecting what we want getting some final mixes and uh just yeah so expect some some big stuff here in the future hopefully is is this the same that you had uh done with your previous albums like you speak from experiences from the 30 songs as well and um if so is maybe some different experiences or is it like in a different direction and um you know tell us more about that yeah, so uh, this album definitely speaks from experiences, and I wanted to put a spin on everything. I wanted to include a whole different, you know, idea. Like I wanted to put rock, I wanted to put hip hop, I wanted to put pop, I wanted to put a bunch of different genres and put a taste in there that everybody can, you know, kind of vibe with in a sense of. You know, maybe they don't like rock music, but they do like pop music and they do like hip hop music or a little bit of alternative. So there is going to be, you know, a variety of tastes of a whole bunch of different stuff in there. It's going to come from experiences, especially new experiences moving to L.A. And, you know, really switching my school career to completely online and not working as much and just dedicating everything I have to a dream and a passion and something I've been blessed to you know, being able to full forward and, and really start kicking into gear. So it has a bunch of good taste with that. New music, uh, new genres. I'm just trying to, you know, really broaden up everything and give a niche for everybody. So somebody has a taste for something in there. That sounds rather fascinating. I mean, expensive taste. That's uh, very appropriate. I seem to like that. Yeah, expensive taste came uh, came from a freestyle, actually. One day I was sitting in the studio, I was working with my engineer, and it kind of just came to mind, and it just really played out. And the more and more me and my manager sat down and talked about it, we really realized that this was, you know, a good centralized idea to backbone the whole album with. So that's going to be the whole niche for it. And I'm super excited. Um, We got a bunch of good merch, and everything is going to be centralized around that. So... Oh my gosh, that sounds exciting. And where where do you see yourself uh, five, 10 years from now? Five, 10 years from now, I always told myself I always wanted to be a rock star. I never wanted to be a rapper. Um, I feel like I just, you know, five, 10 years from now, I want to be selling out arenas. I want to go on tour. Fingers crossed the whole COVID stuff is, you know, more chilling and we're able to do whatever. Um, but five, 10 years from now, I see myself um, doing arenas, um, being a superstar is something I always dreamed about, something that I work day in, day out, uh, grind myself completely. Um, so that's where I see myself doing entertainment. That's all I want to do. That's all I love to do. Um, any aspect of entertainment, that's what I see. That is so fascinating. I'm looking forward to it. And where can we find all your music at? 
You can find all my music on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube, any major platform. It's going to be everywhere at YNG Zuck. Uh, it's going to be a space between the YNG and the Zuck, but it is everywhere. Music videos on YouTube, uh, albums on Spotify and Apple Music and SoundCloud. So you can find it anywhere. Streaming platforms, free streaming platforms, paid streaming platforms. Anything you can find it everywhere. We certainly will check that out. And what's coming up for uh, Young Zuck in 2022 and beyond? We'll find out in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Widener Show.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit our line at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, International Warring Author, Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the amazing, uh, multi talented singer songwriter, Young Zuck. After this time, up. the Mike Wagner show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Me and Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with the amazing, multi-talented singer Young Zuck here on the Mike Wagner Show out of Orlando, Florida. He's currently in Los Angeles attending University of Central Florida. And what can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond? Or should we say, what else can we expect from you besides the uh, upcoming release? Just a lot of music videos. Um, hopefully some shows here. Well, especially some shows here. We got some shows coming up, um, some red carpet events, a lot of events coming up in the future, doing some fashion collabs, modeling pictures, just a whole bunch of broad entertainment. Um, but definitely look for the album, look for shows, look for a tour, uh, look for especially some merch drops and some fashion collabs and red carpet events and music videos, especially. We're certainly looking forward to it. I mean, you got a plethora out there, and that's definitely expensive taste and well worth it, too. It's not a corporate sellout, too. So, <laughs> <laughs> And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? Uh, my biggest influence in my career, I would say, is my dad. Um, just he always taught me to work hard and keep pushing for my goals. Um, my dad, I consider, you know, one of my best friends. So, uh as far as influence and just working hard, we don't always get along, but I know he just has to steer me on the best path. Um, mm. So I would say he is my best influence, even though, like I said, we don't always get along. I know he looks out for me in the best ways and he taught me to work hard and always be myself. And I always find myself always saying that to myself over and over again, not only to myself, but to my peers and people I work with. And when I be myself and I just work hard, uh, the best results always happen. So. And that's really good as well, too. I mean, you're doing a really good job of it. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Just keep believing in yourself. Um, I came from nothing. I came from just working hard, being a college kid, being any normal kid that had a dream, passion, had a goal. And I just really dedicated and worked harder than everyone around me that I felt like. And I'm going to continue to work hard. And my best advice is, like I said, just be yourself and work hard and you know, keep fighting through obscurities and keep fighting through adversity and it's all a test so as long as you just keep going and keep working hard that um, results will happen 
And that's very important as well, too. Once again, with the amazing singer, songwriter, multi-talented Young Zuck with um, upcoming release, Expensive Taste and More on the Mike Widener Show. Young Zuck, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your works? Yeah, thank you so much for having me here, Mike, today. You guys can find me on all platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, everything. It's all just at YNG Zuck. Like again, Facebook, Spotify, everything, all platforms. It's at YNG Zuck. Um, I really appreciate you guys having me on here today. Uh, it's always been a dream to you know, do interviews and do stuff like this. So having this opportunity and being able to talk to you here today, uh, just you know, really solidifies those dreams. And I appreciate you having me here and talking to me today. And it's great to have you on board, too. You're amazing, Zuck. I just want to give you a big thank you for your time. You've been totally amazing. You've got a great future ahead of you. Looking forward to having you again soon. Just keep in touch. And uh, we definitely wish you all the best. And you really have a great future ahead of you. Yeah, thank you so much, Mike. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you again. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.